How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with another video. Playing some more of Destiny 2. Um, we are once again playing the, uh, Episode 1, Act 2 for Echoes. We finished it with the Hunter, or no, sorry, not the Hunter, but the Warlock. Now we're doing it with the Hunter. So, fun! And I'm going to look at recent, newest. Okay, that just leaves uh, my armor to be leveled up. Now then. I need to go to speak with Ikora. Dismantle all that. There we go. Now then. Go talk to Ikora.
the witness is dead. There was no predicting what would come next. But this is what we know. When the witness fell, the Black Fleet's eons of salvation and death surged. Its darkness merged with the Traveler's light, formed first into memory, and then into shape. This impossible object, this echo of the fleet's victims, holds immense power. And it was left for anyone to find. The echo grants the ability to compel. To control. To command. And with it, the conductor has the potential to turn their threat into our annihilation. Alright, speak with Ikora. Tell me what you've seen. What do you see? Do that later. But genocide. Thousands of civilizations across the universe, all visited by the Black Fleet. All lost to the violence of the final shape. That's where this echo comes from. At least, that's our theory. Reports from the Pale Heart. Readings on the valence emanating from the Traveler. Everything we faced when we stared down the Witness and broke its fleet. At first, we didn't know what to call them, but echoes seemed apt. Memories from the victims of the pyramids, held by the darkness. Then coalesced by the light, into artifacts as sharp and fatal as their pain. If darkness is memory, and light is form, what else could they be? But, there's still so much we don't know. Is this the only one? What forgotten people gave form to this echo? What was their final cry at their end? For control? A means to turn back their oppressors? My Hidden will keep searching for whatever answers the Witness's death can give us. Hopefully, they number more than the questions it left behind. But we need to stop the Conductor and secure the Echo. Guardian, descend into Nessus. Massive amounts of Radiolaria have been diverted beneath the planet's crust. We need to find out what the Vex are building there. Okay. Top 
Okay. Now then. That's our ne next objective. Alright, there we go. Searching for the echo for themselves. It doesn't take a vet simulation to know that would be really bad. <laughs> they secure it. It will be as disastrous as the conductor. We cannot allow their interference to persist. Okay, yeah, let's go.
we go. Capture the Vex Hydra. Remove them both, Guardian. They practically look the same. All right, let's see.
head back to the helm real quick. Research on the Omuna's Veil facility is complete. As the report is uh, lengthy, I will summarize. Maya Sandarish and Chioma Essi were a married pair of researchers in the Golden Age. Their work often touched on the Vex. They found an object on Neptune that whispered to Maya in her own voice. That artifact, the Veil, is of the darkness, as the Traveler is of the light. Maya grew obsessed with it. Chioma grew afraid. In her compulsion to study the veil, Maya took no heed of any risks or of Chioma's doubts. Humans under her command died. Exomines were wiped. Maya wanted a chorus that could channel the power of the veil. And to control that chorus, she built an imprint of herself named Lakshmi. Soon afterwards, Maya entered the Vex network. She left no trace. Chioma exiled Lakshmi, shut down all Veil research, and redacted it from Neomuna's history. In a final act, Chioma entered the network herself. Other Mayas and Chiomas were already inside. Simulated hundreds of times by the Vex. It's possible that the Echo brought many Mayas together into the Conductor. Or perhaps only the first. There is no way to know which, if any, directed the Conductor's actions. But it would be folly to underestimate any Maya Sandresh. Okay. Your radiolite sampler can extract and isolate unique uh, segments of mutated radiolaria within discovered nodes of radiolite. Okay. Okay. Whoa. So, next video, because I'm going to end it, we're going to have to collect some radiolite. So, should be fun. Go to orbit. Now then, let's quickly go through armor. Is this point, thanks to the boost of equipment,
There we go. Alright, there we go. I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Remnovcast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you guys next video.